took a lot of chances, hurt a lot of feelings. What's good, everybody? What's good? It's your boy, 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 Cardinal Bud Crawford, or E S Red, if that's what you won't call me. And we are back for another one. All right, y'all. New topic. New topic. New topic. The last super fight. Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence. What's killing boxing? All right, y'all. So, it's a common theme going on right now within the boxing world. And that theme is waiting, waiting, waiting. You know, that, that seems to be the one thing that boxing fans can always look forward to. Waiting for the fight they actually want to see to actually come together. Is it actually going to happen? Is, is this super fight, the fight, the one fight that I think most of the boxing world can unanimously agree upon that needs to happen, not only because there needs to be a welterweight undisputed crown because it hasn't been done in such a long time, but I think to save boxing, this has to happen. I think boxing is 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 seriously on the decline. Boxing is is taking a back seat to MMA. Boxing because we don't get the fights we actually want to see. Unlike in MMA, in MMA, it's see you know, and that's it's crazy because that's the one thing I I kind of really don't like about MMA is the fact that when you start to follow somebody or if you start to like a certain fighter in MMA normally they get matched up and then they get beat <laughs> and they, they get beat pretty bad in, 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 in MMA when you get beat you normally have to take more time off than you do in boxing because MMA is such so much more brutal than boxing it, it, it's um, you can seriously get hurt in that sport you know People get their arms broken and, and ligaments torn and all type of stuff. Where in boxing, mainly you might get a bad cut, you might catch a headbutt, you know. Those are usually the worst injuries in the boxing ring. Or you might catch a concussion, you know. Stuff like that. You're usually not getting lim ligaments and, and, and blowing knees and stuff out in, in boxing. So, normally, the fights that you want to see... It's not that the fighters can't make those fights. It's that the fighters don't want to make those fights. What you're going to get from most channels is a favoritism situation right now. Because tough fights in boxing can end a career. Tough fights in MMA, they can make a fighter look bad. Like if they go in and they're, they're such a big superstar. Like Conor McGregor, he went in and he was such a big superstar. Nobody thought he could get beat. Then when he gets beat... It's almost like, yeah, did I really know who this fighter was? Did I was I following him because of his skills or because of his personality? In boxing, you know, in MMA, it's it's fights get made, I think, sometimes too often, and it takes the allure of the fighter away. Where in boxing, fights almost never get made that you want to see, and it makes your favorite fighter look kind of cowardly now I don't know where the happy medium is in between those two things do you put on a bunch of fights and potentially expose a fighter for not being as good as you might think they are or do you do the Floyd Mayweather thing and cherry pick and hold out on fights to try to get the highest dollar amount by taking uh, less good competition in this sense it's Spence. people are bringing up the point of he gave Mikey Garcia a 50-50. You know, I think those are the factors that are killing boxing. What could boxing actually take away from MMA to save itself, to make itself more popular? I think it's the fights that fans want to see have to be the fights that they start putting on. You can't you can't always have a a Thurman versus a 
Garcia or a Spence versus a Thurman or a a Crawford versus a Brook and think that those are the fights that fans actually want to see. Now, some of those fights were necessary, like Crawford versus Brook. You know, well, Crawford versus Brook wasn't necessary. Spence versus Brook was necessary because there was a title belt involved in that fight. Crawford versus Brook was kind of like, well, there's nobody else for me to fight. This guy still has a big enough name. Let me face off against him. I know he can't beat me. You know, he gave Ugas a 50-50 split with for. <laughs> and, and, and that ends up being the horrible part about boxing because if you if you already know that this guy can't beat you what makes you think I don't know that this guy can't beat you and what makes you think that I'm gonna pay for this fight when I know this guy can't beat you you know and that's the problem in boxing uh, I think in MMA every fight seems competitive in boxing every fight doesn't seem competitive in boxing a lot of these fights they seem set up they seem like they're cherry picked. They seem like they're fights that are just thrown together because they're easy to make. And I think that's what's killing the sport. That's going to be the death nail of the sport. That's going to be the downfall of the sport. There is a saying yesterday's prices are not today's prices. Number two, there's. There's not an entity that controls boxing. There's not one entity that puts fights on, that forces these fights to be made. Now, if you're if you're holding a certain belt, that you know that's a little different. They can have those purse bids, and that can force a fight to be made. But a lot of times, that does that doesn't even happen. You know, it takes a special occurrence in boxing for a purse bid to be made, and you know, I think Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence Jr., they have a golden opportunity to put boxing back on the map and make boxing a great sport again by facing off with each other and having a good showing because it, it could end up in a trilogy, you know, similar to the, the Fury Wilder. You would have thought, I would have thought at least that Fury Wilder would have showed these guys that you know you have to put these type of fights on whether you win or lose it's necessary you know Deontay Wilder didn't become less popular by losing to Tyson Fury the first time uh, people felt like he got cheated you know more people tuned in more people became involved in the fight it brought a lot of fanfare to it uh, to those two fighters it brought it made those two fighters a lot more popular by them facing up with their with their best opponent with their biggest foe with with the biggest fight that they can put on for themselves it made them uh, better fighters out of it they brought the best out of each other by coming together and I, th I feel the same way about Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford if they come together in the boxing ring I think you're gonna see some magical moments and it could be something that brings fans back to the sport now, if this fight doesn't happen, it can definitely leave a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. I can understand the points that, you know, most people are making about this situation being that this is for undisputed. And take more and more and more fans away from the sport. Look, I don't think, I don't think Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence have too many options, really. I don't think either one of them have the best options left now Earl Spence can always move up and wait he's he's pretty much there anyway 154 is sitting there waiting for him but the problem is is boxing is becoming less and less and less popular so even if you move up and wait you're still gonna run into a situation to where there are not, there are not many fighters that sell well on pay-per-view it's gonna bring you the dollar amounts that you want so when it comes to the money when it comes to leverage, they start to understand this. To put on these fights, even though they might be, some of them might be competitive fights, some of them might be cherry pick fights. What's going to bring you the dollar amount that you want to receive? Who's going to bring you the dollar amount that you want to receive, even at 154? Charlo doesn't sell all that well, you know, um, big name, but he doesn't, nobody's really selling pay-per-views nobody's selling out arenas uh, Earl Spence can do it down in Texas but that's just in Texas 
Canelo Alvarez can sell pay-per-views and sell out arenas. But I think it's there's a big weight difference between Canelo Alvarez and Earl Spence Jr. So where does Earl Spence Jr. turn? And he's friends with Charlo, so that fight will probably never happen. Where do you turn other than Terrence Crawford? Where do you turn? And the same goes for Terrence Crawford. Where do you even turn? To where you you don't make fans feel alienated and you're putting on a decent enough show to make casual boxing fans want to be interested in this and at the end of the day if something's not done about them not putting on these super fights and then them not putting on the fights that fans want to see that it will end up being the death of boxing. Boxing's pretty much already dead at this point anyway. Even though there's been a lot of fanfare around this fight, uh, most of this fanfare is just casual boxing fans. Nobody has a fan base like Pacquiao. Nobody has a fan base like Mayweather. But it took years. and Look how many fights Manny Pacquiao had. 70 fights. It took that long for him to be the global icon that he is. Same goes for Mayweather. It took 50-something fights for him to become a superstar within the sport. So if you're not out here actually challenging yourself and winning or putting on decent uh, shows for people to watch, how do you ever expect to become the global superstar, the global icon, the, the face of the sport? You know, nobody's really the face of boxing. Uh, the face of boxing at one time was, was Manny Pacquiao, was Floyd Mayweather. Uh, it, you could say it's it's uh, Tyson Fury and Canelo right now, but they're not super popular in the American market. So, I mean, boxing is just all, because it is a global sport, it's all over the place. Because there's not one entity controlling the sport, it's all over the place. And because you're not getting the fights you actually want to see, it's all over the place, and it sucks to be a fan of boxing. I don't know if Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence is actually going to happen. If it doesn't, you might as well cancel Christmas for boxing. <laughs> because a lot of fans are going to leave. Let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section below. I'm done rambling for now. Hit that like button for me. Share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTubes. But you're more than likely to get a response on the tube. So holler at me over there if you want a response. Yeah, I think I'm done for now. It's your boy, 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 Cardinal Bud Crawford or E. Ash Red. And we are. Everybody run.